You may find yourself in a situation where you want some selective color, an image that's mostly black and white, but a hint of color still coming through. Fortunately, this can all be done with the HSL tool. If I have an image here, instead of going to a global black and white, what I'm gonna do instead is look at the saturation amounts. Let's go ahead and pull these all down to start. We'll globally pull the saturation down in the image. Notice how it strips away all of the color. Now, very subtly, I could take my on image tool and introduce back a hint of that color, bringing back a little bit of the orange, or maybe a little bit more there on the horns. Notice by mixing this in, we can get just a kiss of red and a hint of orange for a subtle effect. That works quite nicely. By using the color grade here, we can just make a small refinement for a gentle hint in the highlights. And if we go over to those shadows, I'm just gonna pull those a little bit towards purple. Now what we have is what would be almost considered a black and white image, except there's just a gentle hint of the color coming back through. By using these color grading tools and the HSL tools, you can decide which color stays and which goes away. This allows you to get that selective color or to create more of an artistic duotone that has a more interesting story.